Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to discuss the example for integrating by partial fraction. So express the situation in a partial fraction and then hence find the integral. So kindly refers to the left hand side where we have x squared plus with the x plus with 1 over we notice that here we have the linear factor then x plus 1 squared which is the repeated linear 2x plus 1 plus x plus 1 for the first time plus x plus 1 bracket square for the second time. So for this case, we have repeated linear. Continue. Here we have a constant because of the linear factor, another constant for the linear factor, another repeated linear factor. So this one we consider as linear, so the numerator will be a constant. Rewrite the situation. So x squared plus x plus with the 1 equals to a x plus 1 square plus b, x plus 1, 2x plus 1, plus with the c, multiply with 2x plus 1. Find a, next is to find a, b, and c. Refers to a. Make sure that we eliminate the b and c. Notice that we have the common factor for b and c, which is 2x plus 1. So the value of x will be equal to negative 1 over 2. Refers to b means that we have to eliminate a and c for the same time. Notice that there is no common factor for a and c. Refers to c. We have to refer to a and b. Can you check that? Do we have any common factor? The answer is yes, where we have x plus 1. So x will be equal to negative 1. Next, move on with the b. Can you substitute any value? other than negative 1 over 2 and negative 1. So my suggestion will be 0. Next, what we have to do is to substitute the value. So if we substitute the value negative 1 over 2 for the left hand side for the part x squared plus x plus 1. So we will have 3 over 4. If we substitute 0 and we will have 1. If we substitute negative 1 and we will have 1. So now if we substitute negative 1 over 2, so we will have a over 4. So a will be equals to 3. Next, move on with the value c. If we substitute negative 1, so we will have a will be eliminated, b will be eliminated, so focus on c. So where we have negative c, so c is equals to negative 1. Finally, now we focus on b. If we substitute x equals to 0, so we will have a, then continue plus with the b, and then plus with the c. Can we substitute the value a and c? So 1 is equal to where we have 3 plus with the b and then minus 1. So we have b is equal to negative 1. So can we substitute? So here we have x squared plus x plus with the 1 over 2x plus 1 x plus 1 squared equals to we have 3 over 2x plus 1 minus 1 over x plus 1 minus 1 over x plus 1 bracket square. So that will be the partial fraction. Next, we move on with find the integral. So do remember, get ready for the integration and for the situation, negative 1 over x plus 1 bracket square. So bring it up so that it becomes power of negative 2. So focus on the direct method. So where we have 3 ln 2x plus 1 over 2 because differentiate to x plus 1 minus ln x plus 1 then if we differentiate and we will have over 1 plus we have 1 over x plus 1 power of 1 plus with the c so rewrite the situation so here we have ln 2x plus 1 to the power of 3 over 2 minus ln we have x plus 1 plus 1 over x plus 1 plus with the c so the answer will be ln, we have 2x plus 1, where we have the square root and then power 3 over x plus 1, plus with 1 over x plus 1, plus with the c. So that will be the answer for this situation. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you think the video is useful, kindly consider to like, comment, share and subscribe.